Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how you can scan documents into your Mac using your iPhone. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 2,000 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about it, join us, and get exclusive content and course discounts. Now you may think that in order to scan documents into your Mac that you need a scanner. But in fact, you can use your iPhone for this. I'm not talking about scanning to your iPhone and then transferring over to your Mac. I'm talking about using your iPhone as a scanner for the file to go directly to your Mac. So for my first example, I'm going to scan this two-page document into my Mac using my iPhone. And I'm going to do it directly to a file. So here I am in the Finder. And if you select a folder, so let's say this Examples folder here, and I Control click on it, two finger click on a trackpad, right click on a mouse, I can see the context menu. One of the options you should see here is Import from iPhone or iPad. And here I've got my iPhone and my iPad listed. Now the reason these are listed here is because they are using the same Apple ID, they are nearby, and I've got Bluetooth and Wi-Fi turned on for these devices and they should appear automatically. There's really nothing for you to do. But if you want to dig more into this and what the requirements are, check out this page at Apple's site. And it shows you which apps support this feature which is called Continuity Camera. And it gives you some step-by-steps as well as requirements for using it. So here in the context menu, I'm going to select Scan Documents. I can select Take Photo just to take a regular photo which is useful in other cases. But in this case, I'm going to choose Scan Documents and my iPhone is automatically going to react to that by bringing up this scanning interface. And now I can position my iPhone to where it gets the full page in and it should automatically take it. And then I'm going to go to the next page and it should automatically take that as well. But if it doesn't for some reason, I can press this button that's here to automatically take it. I can also tap here to review the pages here. I can just swipe between them and I can retake one, I can crop, and there's some other tools here as well. I can also trash it. If it looks okay in the review, I can tap Done and go back to Scanning. Notice there are also options here, like for instance, I can turn off Auto. So I have to use that Shutter button there. I also can turn on and off the Flash if I want. And I've got some options here. I can set it to Color, Grayscale, Black and White, or Photo. Those are the quality choices there. And when I'm done with the scan, on my iPhone here, I tap Save button. And it's going to save. So here if I look in the folder now, I'm going to see where it says Scanned Document. And I can select it and I'll quick look and I'll see the document right there. Since it is a PDF, if I double click on it, I can actually open it up in preview. Or I can work with it some more if I like. For, for instance, I go to the Markup Tools here and I can mark it up. I can use a Selection Tool here, for instance, and I can select an area of this page here and then under Tools I can go to Crop or Command K so I can further adjust things in preview just like I would with any other PDF. Of course also I can rename it now to something that makes more sense. So in addition to the context menu here in the folder there are other ways to get to this functionality. For instance if I was in Icon View here so I had some blank space to click on I could bring up the context menu here and actually save the scan right to this same folder. You could also do it inside of apps. So for instance here I am in preview. Instead of creating a new document or opening a document I've got import right here and I can import a scan from the iPhone. So I'm going to do it again here and I'm just going to scan this receipt and then I'm going to tap save and you can see here I've got that scan here this is handy because I can now go in and edit it. So I'll go to Markup Tools here. I will crop it here to only what I need. And when I save it, I could actually save the format as a PDF. And you might find under Quartz Filter the ability to use a reduced file size which will save something smaller. Or perhaps I can just save it as a JPEG. And I can set the resolution here and the quality. So. Notice if I save this, I'll just save it to the desktop. This saves a pretty small file right here, only 46K. So if you're looking to save some space and have smaller scans, that's one way to do it. 
But you could also scan directly into apps. So for instance here I'm in Pages and if I control click, right click, or two finger click, you see I can insert a photo or a scanned document right here inside of this document here. So I'll let it take that photo and then I'll save it. And you can see now I've got the image right inside of the Pages document. I didn't have to save it in an intermediate file first. Notes is another place where you can easily scan. I can go to File and then Insert from iPhone or iPad here and I could scan a document right into a note or even an email message. I'll compose a new message here. If I want to scan something and have it go directly into here, I can Control click, right click, or two finger click here and I've got the same Insert menu to scan a document right into this message without having it be in a file first. So of course one of the biggest advantages of doing this is you don't have to buy a completely different device like a scanner or replace your printer with a printer scanner combination if you need to scan in occasional documents. Downsides are it can get unwieldy to do large documents. If you've got a 40 page document to get through that's a lot of individual shots to take. But even that if you don't need to do it too often it's pretty easy to do it on your iPhone and save the money and space on a scanner. Another downside is size. This technique really doesn't do much to conserve size so if you're worried about that then you definitely want to scan into preview and do things there to uh, reduce the size before you save the file. Whereas a regular scanner may give you options to scan at pretty low resolution in grayscale all the time and create smaller PDFs. So I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.